Hi, Tony from Songwriters Chop Shop here, and in this episode of Songwriting Tips from Famous Songwriters, I'll be talking about singer-songwriter, producer, Phineas O'Connell, and how he turned a unique personal experience into a universally relatable lyric. To me, the song that I've, I've gotten the most outreach from of people saying that they relate to it, the song I Lost a Friend, there were a couple lines in the song that I thought, like, if I were a songwriter, songwriting teacher, I think I would say that this was pretty specific and pretty hard to relate to, because there's a line in the chorus of, like made a little too much money to be 20 and sad. The song's theme is relatable. Losing a friend is something we all go through at some point. In fact, probably many points in our life. But having a relatable theme doesn't automatically mean we'll have a good lyric. Or just because something's happened to you doesn't automatically justify writing a song about it. Themes, like titles and ideas, are only a starting point. They still need to be crafted into a relatable lyric that sounds good. Writing a lyric that is too specific to your life runs the risk of alienating a wide audience. And Phineas was in a unique situation. I'd had a couple of relationships fall apart. Part when I started touring. I was like having this tumultuous success with my sister and one relationship in particular was me and my high school best friend. It's probably not like the easiest thing in the world to watch like a lot of your combined dreams come true for one of you. We can all relate to losing a friendship but not many can relate to losing a friend because you're becoming a global megastar and your friend is having a hard time watching their dreams come true for someone else. Let's look at some of the ways Phineas made this unique situation into a lyric that we can all relate to. The key to writing a relatable lyric from a deeply personal situation is to understand the universal truth that lies at the heart of the experience. In this case, losing someone close to you hurts. The next step is to reshape or create a new set of circumstances that best express that universal truth. The lyrics open with, I lost a friend. Not my best friend, not my high school friend. It's specific and vague enough that anyone can relate to it. For the purposes of lyrics, more often than not, it's a good idea to keep the characters generic. Use stock characters. Then the verse continues with a list of ways you lose things. All similes, all everyday relatable objects. Keys, wallet, melting ice, sleep, money on a bet. Remember I said a good lyric needs to be memorable? No, because I didn't say that, but it does, and memorable for the right reasons. One way to do that is to use words that evoke a clear mental image. He couples and qualifies the abstract thought of losing with solid objects, and some of them have a layered meaning, like melting ice, something cold, disappearing in the heat. The similes keep our attention on the loss and not the thing being lost. And notice the balance of specific and vague. He didn't say, I lost a friend, like losing my Lambo keys in the sofa or my Gucci wallet in the backseat of my tour bus. I'm not saying that getting specific is a bad thing. You have to know when and how specific to be to serve the song. Then the end line of that section, worrying about things that haven't happened yet. So up until this point, he's been showing us the detail of the circumstances with word pictures, and now he's telling us how he feels. Show before you tell. Then we move into the pre-chorus, lying awake, counting mistakes, replaying fights. After all that solid imagery in the verse, he's stepping back and giving us a glimpse at the big picture. Also, the language he uses is building the tension in the lyric. In the chorus, notice how he switches the point of view. He doesn't say, I've made too much money to be sad at 20. I'll go out on a limb here and say 99% of the people watching this couldn't relate to that line if it was in the first person. Having a relatable lyric means creating empathy with the singer. If he had said, I've made too much money, it would detract from the empathy we feel for him. Recasting characters and rearranging who said what is another useful tool for creating a relatable lyric. Then he comes in with the line, how the hell did I lose a friend that I never had? That line doesn't make a lot of sense, but it sounds good, it's poetic, and it's a climactic point in this section. The way I say it is I don't sacrifice quality of song for sort of blanket truth. Like, if seven days, it wasn't the amount of days it was since the event, but seven days is the best sounding amount of days. I'll say seven days. The second verse moves the story along. He uses the same abstract idea of mend with solid imagery. This time, he's focusing on physical pain. So the imagery is building in intensity as the lyric progresses with the neck brace, the new sprain, the visceral imagery of pulling stitches from your face. It's intense imagery and we can almost feel the pain. The words are creating strong mental pictures and the situation is causing a strong emotional response. This is keeping the emotional honesty of the experience but creating a new set of circumstances that best express the universal truth behind it. The circumstances give the character a reason to 
feel the emotion and he defines that emotion through the imagery. The first verse contained imagery that was external, external objects outside him. The second verse is all about the physical pain he can feel. The imagery is not at a distance anymore. It is built intensity through the order the images were shown to us. Then we move into the bridge and the line, I'd apologize if I thought you'd listen or it'd make a difference. It depends on the song of course, but just like the hero in a movie, the audience has to have empathy with the main character to relate to him. I read in an interview that Phineas said he didn't really know how to handle the breakdown of this friendship, but saying that in a lyric might make him come off as emotionally ill-equipped or even not bothered to try to salvage the relationship. These are all human emotions and there's nothing wrong with them, but in the context of a song lyric, he has created a situation that lets him show rather than tell the emotion and leaves the feeling of it up to the listener. If you want to see more of the songwriting techniques that Phineas uses, watch this video next.